welcome to Friday Francis and Michael. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> this guy. Hope everybody's having a wonderful week. So I've been upstairs working in front of my computer. I had a day off today and you've been down here working on. So what are you working on today? I am working on a new program that we're launching that is um, meal plan support. So if you've ever been to the doctor and the doctor says, oh, you need to do a low FODMAP diet or you need to do a grain free or gluten free diet and he hands you a piece of paper and you walk out of the office and you think, what now? Right. And that's what we normally see quite often. They come in with a paper that says, you know, don't eat this or just eat that and they don't know what to do. So mm -hmm. that's a great program. Yeah. So I'm working on that. So it'll have, um, uh, menus, it will have shopping lists, it's going to have uh, plans out, planned out sample menus for the week. Recipes. Recipes, yes. So, so that'll be really we're good. putting that together. Getting that'll close be to being good. done. Right. Mm -hmm. And upstairs I've been working on this very cool gut immune course I hope to deliver to you very soon. And we had a great testimonial this week that one of our clients had lost over 75 pounds mm -hmm. and he was way going into that diabetic uh, realm and now he has been pulled back from the edge of diabetes yeah. as one yeah. would say so yeah, actually good wonderfully so summer is upon us and tonight we have light fare so nothing yes. really heavy so it's not that like winter we're looking for a cozy meal so mm -hmm. I'll let you go do it yeah definitely we're doing chicken salad tonight and I gotta say today is the first like summer day it's hot it's humid I didn't go outside the boys went outside but not me um, <laughs> and so I thought it was something nice and light and easy would be and um, as you guys all know, we love cucumbers and we love bell peppers in our house. So that's kind of what I'm making. I'm making a lemon chicken salad. And um, I have, of course, you know, I like to change things up. So I have modified the recipe a teeny tiny bit. But, um, you know, again, customize it however you like. So very, very simple. And we're going to do a little fancy schmancy thing with the cucumbers that makes it look really pretty and fun but also super, super easy. So definitely, so first thing is just to put the dressing together. Very simple. Olive oil, so we're gonna use our extra virgin olive oil. You could use avocado, you could use something like that. Just make sure it's a nice, high quality oil. Garlic, I'm gonna love my garlic. That's fresh. And lemon juice, this is the juice of half of a lemon. I'm gonna put that in a really nice, light, light dill. Now, this is dry dill, again, because we're still kind of not trying to go to the store super often. You could use fresh dill, which would be wonderful in it. I just didn't have any. So, again, when you're using dried versus fresh, fresh, you're always going to about double or so, depending on what the um, herb is, because it has a more delicate flower, dry, uh, dry flavor. Dried is gonna be a stronger flavor. So this is dried, so we're using that. And the thing that I'm changing up a little bit is some mustard, because I just felt like I wanted a little bit of a bite to it today. Mustard's not on the recipe, but I'm throwing a little bit in because I just feel like it today. You're a wild woman. I am, I am a wild, crazy woman, and that's what I'm doing. Crazy so, out of the term. <laughs> so that is it, that is our and I can already smell that dill coming up. It's nice. You can see our nice little dressing right here in the bottom. Very, very simple. So our fancy schmancy, I'm just going to set this aside for a second. So our fancy schmancy part is cucumber. Now, if you want to, you could just dice the cucumber, throw it in there, slice it up. Perfectly fine. Be great. It would be amazing. But we're going to get a little fancy. So there's all kinds of different ways you could do this. I like ribbons and you can do it with carrots with um, cucumbers, with all kinds of things to just make your salad, especially if you're having company maybe, but you don't want to spend a whole lot of time to impress them. This is good. So just write down, just slicing the carrots, and look, we get these little these little cucumber, I'm sorry, cucumber ribbons. Really easy, really pretty. We're gonna put those on there. You could do cucumbers and carrots. And also if you wanted to marinate your vegetables, because these are really nice and thin, the marinade goes in, um, soaks into them really quickly and really easily. So that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna make a little bed. You could also use a spiralizer if you have one of those. You could use just about, oops. You could use just about anything you like. Um, so we have this little bed. 
And that's about all I'm going to do. So one of the most frequently asked questions you get is, you know, what do I wash my vegetables and fruit with because of the skin? Yes. So a lot of people are concerned about the skin. Yes. So you can mm -hmm. share, you know, what you wash it with. Definitely. So there's a couple of different things. You can do a commercial wash which um, there are a number of them. This is one that I get from Trader Joe's. Big bowl of water. When I come in, even, you know, especially now, but really even before then, big bowl of water, lukewarm water in the sink, a little bit of this, um, make, this one's a little sudsy, and um, put your veggies in, soak them, because a lot of things are sprayed on the outside. A lot of fruits and vegetables, especially like uh, cucumbers and apples are waxed. So they have a pesticide and then a layer of wax sealing that in. So you want to get all that off of there. Another thing too, strawberries have um, kind of a natural occurring fungus that makes them get overripe really quickly. So washing them and then letting them dry very well before you put them away will make them last longer. If you don't have access to a commercial wash, the next best thing, or even a wonderful thing even better, is also the apple cider vinegar. And you know, I love the apple cider vinegar. I use it all the time for everything. This is especially good for the strawberries, again, to get rid of that natural little fungus that's on there. They'll last twice as long. Put them in a glass container with a paper towel underneath. Like, make sure they're nice and dry before you put them away. They can last a lot longer. And what about good old soap and water? You can, you have to be careful though. A lot of you need, would need to use a very natural soap because a lot of things have perfumes and dyes and things. So you're really just compounding your issue as far as that goes. So I would really stay with more of a vegetable wash or the apple cider vinegar. And you'll be amazed when you have your bowl and you put that in there, especially strawberries the other day, holy cow, you'd be surprised what comes off of there. You look at them and you think, oh, these are clean. Nope, they're not. So. We're going to just finish up this little salad. Now to be fancy, we could probably curl them up a little bit if we're having company. But there we go, we have our nice little bed. And then we're gonna finish up our salad. And this is another one of those things that you can make ahead of time. You know you're gonna be out in the yard playing, you know, with the kids or doing yard work. You want something nice and cool and quick and easy. Make it, stick it in the fridge, bring it out, done. Very easy. So the rest of this is so super, super simple. Chicken, and then we use peppers. You could use celery, you could use radishes, you could use anything you like. And red onion we're using because, you know, we love that sharp flavor in our family. We're all about the strong flavors. So that's what we've got going there. And we're just gonna toss this. And this is another one of those salads that's a no mayo salad. Um, I'm the only person in the family that likes mayonnaise. Nobody else does. So I do try and find things that don't have mayo in them for everybody else. And Thank you. See, <laughs> yes. And you can see that uh, the dill is showing up. We've got the beautiful colors. So we're just going to take our little salad. We're going to nest that right on there. Look how pretty that is. There you go. Nice, light, simple summer dinner. Beautiful. Or lunch. There we go. That's it. So everybody take care. Do keep on watching because those two programs are going to be coming out probably in the next couple of weeks. And um, we think they'll be really helpful for people. And take care. Stay healthy. I will see everybody soon. Bye-bye.